Hey, this is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies at hikingemergencybeacon.com. And today I'm out here that, with a question about the Garmin Enreach Mini 2 versus the Garmin Messenger. The question came from somebody who I believe is more of an extreme mountain bike rider and they do have crash once in a while. And they were wondering whether the size of the Mini 2 versus the Messenger and whether you could put the Messenger in your pocket and still be able to track. So that's what I'm going to address today and I've done some field tests. So before I get into that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. So what I did today was I, I have been in cell service almost the entire time. And so th there's a big question about whether you're in cell service or outside of cell service. But what I did on part of the trip, and you'll have screenshots up here, because I shared with the map share, and this is what you need to do if you want people to be able to track you, to see where you're at, and if you crash, and maybe you can't call for help, because maybe you're injured that bad, you can't get to the device, or it's away from you, um, whatever it might be, people can watch and track and if you haven't moved in a long period of time they would know be able to pinpoint within about 50 feet where you're at so when I left my house I put this Garmin messenger in this pocket right here now this is a mesh pocket and it's nice because it fits real snug in here and I'm not going to shove it all the way down in but you can see right here it goes down it's real snug and i also clipped this onto the strap up here or this loop so that if it came out of the pocket it wasn't going to leave my pack so you might want to think about that but what i noticed was you know i was getting i was getting tracks because i started tracking and again i, I shared on the map share link and i was able to see that it was tracking when it was in this pocket. Now, then I thought, okay, let's put it inside the backpack, inside my truck. So I did that on the next part of the test. And then I drove for about 15, 20 miles. And I went all around Castle Rock, to, uh, down uh, close to Palmer Lake. And you can see the loop that I took. I think maybe I had tracking set every five minutes or so but it, it placed these tracks down. Even when I was in, it was inside the backpack, inside the truck, it still put tracks down. So here's the thing about the Messenger. And this is an advantage I think the Messenger has over the Mini 2. Even though the Mini 2 does use the Messenger app, or I'm particularly talking about the Garmin Messenger device itself. It'll use Wi-Fi, cell service, and satellite service but when you're just in satellite service make sure you have a clear view of the sky so the whole time i was in cell service so this thing was not just here i had it inside my backpack and i would never think you would get service inside a backpack especially i mean when you are outside of cell service and you're using satellites you're not going to get it it was showing me was that when you're in cell service with the garmin messenger doesn't matter if it's inside your pack, you will be able to track. That's something I didn't really know about this, but it's as good information and, and I, I'm, I'm really, I appreciate the question because you maybe come out here and test this and I just wasn't thinking about it, but when you're in cell service with this, yeah, you can put it inside any pocket and you don't need to have a clear view of the sky. So let me just caution you on a few things. This particularly on the mountain bike rider, anybody who's out doing stuff and in the outdoors, if you're going to be outside of cell service, I would not put this in a pocket for nothing. Now, if it's in a mesh pocket like this, okay, make sure you test it. It and I, and I that'll be another test I can do someday. I'm not doing it today. Outside of cell service in this pocket, will I be able to track? Not sure. If it does track inside this pocket outside of cell service, you're still limiting yourself to maybe two thirds, half the sky, probably two thirds of the sky, because you're not gonna get satellites behind you. But for sure, if you're outside of cell service, 
make sure that you are definitely not in a pocket or a backpack that's more solid material. You really want this to have a clear view of the sky. For me, if I'm outside of cell service, I'm either going to preferably, you know, have this sitting up high where it has a clear view of the sky and I want to strap it down. So if I'm doing an extreme sport, maybe even hiking, backpacking, and I'm in rugged country, I want this to be outside of a pocket if possible. And I want it to have a clear view of the sky sitting up as high as possible, but you would need to strap it down. You have, you know, this here that, you know, carabiner and all that, that you could strap, but it will hang down. You really want to strap it down better up high somewhere. And that's something you would just have to test and see how it works. But, you know, a lot of people, when even when they're doing mountain bike sports and things like that, you still, in a lot of cases, are in cell service. That's why this may be a great device for you. But again, if you're outside of cell service, be very careful about putting this in any, in any kind of pocket. Unless it's mesh and you've got a decent view of the sky and you test it. If you have any questions, I mean, call Garmin, talk to them, get their advice on it. I'm just saying for my field test, today, being in cell service, it works. Inside the pack, it works. Outside of cell service, I'm not sure. I really want to go someplace, and I may even do it right now. There is a place I can go to see about getting cell service, uh, being outside of cell service, and seeing if it'll track. And, you know... I'd like to put this all in one video. So I'm gonna head over to an area I know does not have cell service, and I'm going to finish this field test so you can see both ways. I'm, I'm going to put it in this pouch right here or this pocket that's mesh. I'm gonna see if it tracks, then I'll put it in my backpack, see if it tracks outside cell service. I think I know what'll happen, but that's why I field test these things here in Colorado. I'll be back in just a second with the second part of this test. Okay, I'm back and I did about 35 minutes of a, a test, three different tests. One of them, I had the messenger in the sleeve inside my truck so it wasn't getting any view of the sky and I tested it for about 10 minutes to see if it got any tracks, put any tracks down. And then the second test is I kept the Garmin Messenger in the sleeve. I put it in the bed of my truck. That was another 11, 12 minutes. The third test I, is I, I pulled the Messenger out of the sleeve, put it in a, on the bed of the truck, actually on the side of the truck, where it had a real good view of the sky, and ran that test for about 12 minutes. I wasn't getting any information because when you're outside cell service and the map share, you can't see that. But when I drove back and I was then out in cell service, I could see, I could only see two tracks put down. Now there may have been a few more that were put down because I was staying in one spot, but normally there's a lot of tracks put down because it's not that accurate. I mean, it's, you know, within 50 feet. So there'll be a bunch of tracks within about a 50 foot radius of where I was at. I only saw two tracks. Let me also say that on the first part of the test, I had it on 10 minute tracking. Once I left here to do the second part of the test, I set it to two minute tracking. And so in that 35 minute test, I should have had at least 15 tracks put down if it were, if I had a complete, you know, great view of the sky. I only saw two or so. Now this isn't a really precise test because if I were doing a more precise test, I would have done, you know, maybe a 30 minutes or 20 minutes in that spot, then drove back to cell service to check how many tracks that were, were put down. Then I would have gone back outside cell service, done the second test, gone back, checked, and then the third test and checked. There's four F-16s flying overhead going south. It's a little noisy, but I, I do like to see them. All right, well, so I finished the test. As I said, I, I only saw two tracks put down. I guarantee you those tracks were put down when I had it in full view of the sky. Again, not a scientific test, but it's enough to just caution you and warn you. If you're outside of cell service, and you think it's a good idea to put that Garmin Messenger in your sleeve where it doesn't have a clear view of the sky, 
and and I'm talking, you know, whether you put it in your backpack, a sleeve that's completely covered, or a sleeve that is mesh. I should have gotten several message uh, tracks, if not four or five tracks, in the sleeve, in the mesh sleeve outside of cell service, if that works. I didn't see very many put down. Again, not a completely scientific test. And so, you know, just use caution. I don't think it works well if you're outside cell service and you put it in a sleeve. You want to have a clear view of the sky. If you're in cell service, that's completely different, all right? You're going to have to test, talk to Garmin. I might do another more thorough test, but do your own test, do your own research, and I'll help as much as I can. But thanks for joining me on this test, and I hope it helps. Leave a comment below, offer advice, tips, because I want to learn a lot as you guys are learning too. And some of you may know more about some of these than I do, and, and I'm testing these a lot, and I'm still learning. So leave a comment below, let me know what you think, and uh, again, appreciate you joining me out here for this video. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there's a link in the description below. Again, it's another great day in Colorado. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.